This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. Like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. It better gives a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, M-U-L-N is in a difficult place right now, okay? I believe it's in a difficult place. I believe that M-U-L-N, because of the fraud and manipulation, can still go down a little further. So I am not going to be buying any more shares. I'm not going to sell my shares, but I'm not going to be buying any more M-U-L-N shares until I see some type of catalyst. Now, a lot of people are, are, are telling me that if MULN doesn't get the NASDAQ ex extension, that the stock is going to fall even further. I don't agree with that, but this is just my opinion. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell MULN, but I don't believe that MULN not getting NASDAQ approval is going to really be a negative catalyst for the stock. And and here's why. Here's why. What does NASDAQ have to do with MULN producing vehicles? What does NASDAQ have to do with MULN delivering vehicles? A majority of the shareholders in MULN are retail investors. They're already deep into the stock. We probably own two or three times the float. Any shares that are available to, 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 to purchase on MULN more than likely are counterfeit shares that were pushed out by the market makers. So all they're doing is pushing the shares out or in the dog pools, buying and selling between each other to push the price down. That has nothing to do with what platform is, is selling or trading the MULN shares. So whether it's on the over-the-counter market, whether it's on NASDAQ, it, it, in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, it doesn't matter at all because retail investor is fully aware of MULN. Retail investors are holding MULN. They don't care if it's on, not they don't care. That's not the right word. Not they don't care, but they, they're already in the stock. They are already in the play. So, does it matter if they bought it from, I mean, Key Food or Whole Foods? No, it doesn't matter. If they're getting the same stock, they're getting the same stock no matter where they purchase it from. The big dogs are sitting on the sidelines, but where are they going to buy the shares from? All the real shares are already taken up. The big dogs are sitting on the sideline to buy the counterfeit shares that the market makers are going to produce to further manipulate the price. But when people say, oh, well, the big dogs are sitting on the sidelines waiting for MULN to deliver shares, waiting for MULN to do this, waiting for MULN to do that. Where are they buying the shares from? We own the float. If we didn't, they wouldn't have to be 80% of MUL trading in the dog pool to hide what they're doing. There are no real, in my opinion, in my opinion, there are no real MULN shares out there for any of the big dogs to purchase. They're only going to be counterfeit shares that the market makers print when the big dogs decide to get in. MULN float is already bought, and I believe a majority of it is by retail investors. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think MULN getting kicked off of NASDAQ is going to change how they produce vehicles? Is going to change how they deliver vehicles? I mean, that's how they make their money. By delivering the producing of vehicles and delivering them. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.